Next, we're going to try to solve mathematically the solutions of the Schrodinger equation for the square well, which only has finite depth. We previously considered the infinite square well, which gave us a lot of the physical intuition of what we should see. We should see bound states. We should have minimum energy uh, of any of the states. There's a ground state and various excited states. And we previously talked about sketching wave functions in uh, stepwise constant potentials and in developing some intuition about what changes for a wave function at various locations. Now we're going to talk about some energy of an eigenstate sitting inside here that's less than the potential of the, or depth of the well. And we're going to do some of the basic uh, mathematical manipulations we've done up till now, hopefully seeing uh, our intuitions borne out from before. It's helpful to define Three regions, one, two, and three. These correspond to one, two, and three. And we know from our previous work that there are different types of solutions of the Schrodinger equation here. This particular uh, potential which is uh, symmetric around the origin, so the origin x equals zero is right there. And since the potential well goes to plus u at minus l over 2 and plus l over 2, it's symmetric. I expect, therefore, to be uh, seeing something like a set of even solutions of the wave function and a set of odd solutions of the wave function. So in this case, if psi 1 is going to be some e to the alpha x, I say that because I should see exponential damping in the region x less than 0, and I get that with e to the alpha x. Then for the even solution, psi 3. Could also look like e to the alpha x, except of course it'll be e to the minus alpha x, because I need it to be damped as I go to x plus, goes to plus infinity. Notice I didn't include the other term here, um, something that looks like e to the minus alpha x up here, or e to the plus alpha x here, because I want the thing to be bounded and stay finite. For the even solutions, I expect sinusoids in the in the in between region. Well, the only even sinusoid is going to look something like b cosine kx. For the odd solutions, psi 1 would be c e to the alpha x, but then psi 3 will equal minus c e to the minus alpha x. And in this region, psi 2 should equal sine function, sine kx. And remember that k, the wave number inside the bound region, well that's going to equal 2me square root over h bar. This is potential of 0 inside. And alpha it's going to equal 2m u naught minus e square root over h bar. Now the math that we're going to do is we're going to impose continuity here. The wave function itself has to be continuous at x is plus or minus l over 2. And the derivative has to be continuous at x is plus or minus l over 2. And we'll call this condition 1 and this condition 2.